Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. Today we are talking about a new favorite author of mine, David Joy's Where All Light Tends to Go. Um, I have been an on and off again fan of Hillbilly Noir for a long time, or just stories um, about country people. I mean, I live in the South now. I was born and raised in California, but I've been living in Alabama off and on since 1995, roughly. Um, and the I like stories um, about the the little guy, um, especially uh, country country folk, um, whether it be uh, Jesmyn Ward's type country folk, or even even going as far as uh, Stephen King's country type, you know, Mainers, the the northern country type. But uh, my new my new favorite go to in that genre is David Joy. He has a new book coming out um, next month, I think it is. Um, I can't remember the name of it, but I'll leave a uh, link down there in the doobly-doo. Uh, this one is about a uh, teenage a teenager named Jacob McNeely, whose father is, um, like most of, unfortunately, most of these books are about the same. If somebody's into meth, somebody's either cooking or dealing or whatever. His mom is a meth addict, and his dad is a dealer. Um, and then he... There was at one point in time when he left to go away. Uh, he left town for a while and came back. During that time, he broke up with a girlfriend. Um, and then he comes back and they reignite. Uh, there's, there's a lot of stuff in here I liked. Um, from beginning to end, uh, David Joy writes terrifically. Um, there's absolutely nothing wrong with the writing. The one little complaint I might have that would knock off probably a whole star from me is there's some pretty... Uh, convenient stuff that happens in this book to carry the story forward. Um, that would be my only complaint. I mean, the, at a certain certain point, you have to look at a, a piece of fiction and go, okay, it is fiction, let's just escape for a while and read this. But sometimes uh, the suspension of disbelief that is asked for is so big that uh, I have a problem with it and I lose that escape. And that happened for me toward the end of this one with some things just falling neatly into place. Um, but that is not to say that this is a bad book. This is a good book, um, and I would easily give it four, 4.5 stars. Um, I'll probably end up giving it another extra half a star when I write my Goodreads review just because of the writing. Um, the dialogue in here, if you're a fan of good, well-written dialogue, this is, this guy could teach a master's class on it. Um, anytime dialogue is written really well, I tend to sit I, I tend, while I'm reading, I tend to read the dialogue out loud because I'm a, I, I don't want to to my own heart, I'm a natural born actor. I like acting these things out. Um, I do it with my own books also um, with, during my scenes that I'm writing. But um, with this one, I found myself doing it, uh, doing character voices. I knew exactly how everybody sounded. Um, my favorite character in here um, is the the sheriff or chief of police, I can't remember the dude's name, but I really I really liked him and the way his character changed by the end was amazing. Um, I was completely I was completely taken off guard with the entirety of the ending. So the twist of it was really good also. But have you read anything by David Joy, especially have you read uh, Where All Light Tends to Go? If so, let me know down there in the comments below what you thought about it or the author in general. But until next time, I have an E, you have an U. This has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!